Hi guys, my name's Craig. I uh, am doing a uh, video series on my uh, Kenda Cataclysm motorcycle tires that I'm going to be installing on my 2018 Harley Davidson Ultra Limited. This bike has uh, approximately 17,000 miles on it on the stock factory Harley Davidson slash Dunlop, well, I should say. Harley branded Dunlop tires. I think the D407s, I think they are. The same by uh, tires that came on the bike. The back one's uh, pretty much done at close to 17,000 miles. Uh, the front one probably has a little bit more tread life on it, but I'll get into that later. But um, um, first, let me preface by saying I've, I've been changing my, my own motorcycle tires for going on 20 years. I got tired of bringing my uh, wheels to motorcycle shops and having my wheels scratched and gouged and whatnot and paying for, uh, for that service. So uh, I started changing my own tires and uh, I've been changing uh, my friend's tires as well for uh, almost that much time as well. Um, I've got a pretty decent Harbor Freight tire changer set up with some modifications. Um, I've also used the uh, No Scuff Tire Tool and I do not scratch rims. Um, I also balance my own wheels. Um, I've got a static balancer that I use and uh, my ba static balancing has been tested um, on my sport bike buddies bikes up to about 160 miles an hour with absolutely no vibration. So I've had good success with that. I have changed tires uh, for friends that prefer the Dyna beads or the Counteract, uh, you know, the ceramic uh, beads that go inside the tires. Um, I've, most of my friends have reported good success with those, although we have had a couple of instances where those uh, balancing beads, I guess due to maybe running tire temperatures or just the, the compounds of the tires or a combination thereof, um, the beads will actually start picking up some of the internal rubber in the tire. Um, it didn't cause any runnability problems, it just startled us when we changed the tire at a later date, you know, and found uh, many of the beads were actually two to three times the size of what they were because they built up this accumulation of rubber on them. When we dissect these rubber beads, you find the, 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 the ceramic bead in the middle of it. So um, that hasn't happened all the time, but on occasion we have seen that. So um, for friends that want the balancing beads, I'll still uh, use them for them, but I, I static balanced mine with you know, my stick-on Motion Pro weights. I've never had a problem with any of them. Uh, I prep the wheel, clean the wheel properly before I stick the weights on. They've never fallen off on me. So, anyway, uh, that's that's my history on, uh, with my experience with changing tires. I, I like to uh, compare the installation of tire to tire. Um, uh, all tires are not created equally as far as the way they're constructed. Uh, for example, from an installation perspective, uh, Dunlops are notoriously the hardest sidewall and uh, tread combination. So they are um, the more challenging to install uh, on my setup. Um, uh, below that, I'd say a little getting a little bit easier, maybe a little bit easier would be the, Dun the uh, Bridgestones. Be up below that, maybe the Metzlers. The easiest that we've used to date have been Avon's. Avon tires are um, phenomenally easy to install. Um, I suspect these Kendas uh, will be somewhere between the Avon's and the, and the Dunlops. Um, they don't, they're not nearly as hard as the Dunlops. I can tell that already by, by my flexing tests here. But um, getting back to the Kendas. Um, you know, when it was time for me to uh, shop for tire replacements for the Harley, you know, uh, I, I would consider putting uh, the, the factory uh, branded, Harley branded tires back on, but they're, they're so cost prohibitive, it's ridiculous. I know a lot of people will say, well, tires are the most important thing, and I'm totally there with you. Tires are the most important thing on the bike. These, I, these, uh, Harley branded Dunlops are excellent tires. They, they've lasted uh, almost 17,000 miles. I probably could squeeze out another 1,000 miles out of them if I wanted to. Uh, the bike is starting to track now in grooves and uh, depressions in the road. Uh, they're starting to track badly now, so they're time to go. 
Also, uh, first let me say the, um, the manufacturer date on these stock Harley tires is, I think it's like mid-2017. The front sidewall on, on this bike is starting to crack, uh, like dry wrap, kind of a cracking thing going on. It's not severe, but you can see it. Uh, surprises me for a uh, Dunlop and one that's maybe a year and a half old from the date the tire was manufactured. So that surprises me a little bit. So that, at any rate, I'm, gonna, there, I'm due for tires, high, uh, time to change. Um, in, in my tire research, shopping research, um, you know, I, I looked at, of course, the, these Dunlop 407. Uh, these are only available through Harley-Davidson dealerships. Um, they get about $230 plus for just the rear tire. Um, Dunlop makes an American Elite, which has got a, a different tread compound. That's, I shouldn't say that. A different tread uh, design, supposed to be a very similar, if not the same, compound. Um, those two are pretty pricey. Uh, I like the Michelin Commander 2s, um, I put those on there, those those are a good tire, I think those would be, I've had them on a, a Kawasaki Vulcan Voyager, I like them a lot. Um, but I stumbled on uh, Kenda, I've been watching these tires for a little bit. Uh, this is a the Kenda Cataclysm K6702, these have been on the market maybe a year, I'm going to guess. Um, these are all new. These are designed for heavyweight touring bikes. In my opinion, these were designed specifically for Harley Davidson. Um, they have all the Harley sizes, and um, the uh, load rating on these, front and I'm sorry, front and back, uh, compared to the front and back of the stock Harleys, the load rating is identical. Um, also, the uh, the number of plies that they're using on the tread and on the sidewall are very, very similar to the Harley setup or the Dunlop setup that Harley uses. So this is a suitable tire um, for the suitable replacement tire for this bike. These are dual compound tires, harder in the center, softer on the shoulders. Um, I suspect this tire should uh, be a lasting tire. I don't know if it's going to last as long as the stock Dunlops. Um, I'm reading on the forums, these D407 Harley branded Dunlops are, are lasting anywhere between 15 and I've seen some people get upwards of 20,000 on them. Um, I think some people try to get every last nickel out of their tires if they can, which I don't, I don't particularly favor, but um, th these are pretty long lasting Dunlops in my opinion. Um, I don't know if these are going to last that long. Uh, you know, and I and to be honest with you, I don't know if I'm going to be able to report back on that element of it. What I plan on doing is a series of videos on these Kendas. Uh, obviously, this one being the introduction to them, I'm going to follow up with a secondary video of the installation of it. Um, I'll video me changing one, if not both, of the tires, the demounting process and the mounting process. I may even. Uh, include, uh, incorporate a balancing element of that video. That would be, that'll be stage two or video two. And then finally, I'll, after a few hundred miles, I'll uh, do a video on my performance uh, evaluation of them and what my uh, impression and opinions of are them and how they ride and perform and, and handle and whatnot. But uh, I found these t uh, Kendas online delivered to my door for $173. Uh, for both the front and back. Uh, as I said, if I were to purchase just the, the Harley branded Dunlop, it would have been a minimum of 230 plus. Um, the American Elite's probably close to 200. Um, again, these were front and back for $173 to my door. Um, and, and I'm always interested in trying new products. Um, there's been some Kenda products in the past that uh, I wouldn't have tried. Um, I certainly, not to offend any guys that run Chinkos, um, I think um, some of them uh, I, I've heard. In fact, I mounted a set of Chinkos on a buddy's um, Goldwing, and he actually had pretty decent performance and results with it, long life with it. Um, but I've, on the flip side, um, 
for the Shinko that goes on this bike, the 777HD. Uh, I remember I, I met a guy that had them, and uh, I looked in the back of his bike, and they were bald as could day, and bald as the day. And he said uh, they only had like four or five thousand miles on them. So I'm, I, I don't. Uh, there are low quality tires in the market. Um, I'm not going to try those. I think some of the candidates are better than others. Um, I, in general, I think the reviews you'll find, you'll see people will like the Kendas. Um, there's been a couple of uh, issues with some models over the years, but, but then again, you can do videos on almost every manufacturer's tires and find some uh, issues here and there. When you know, there's so many dynamics with tires, with um, uh, obviously proper inflation, um, how. If, if, is a tire load rated correctly for the application? Uh, there's so many variables to the tires. What part of the country you're living in, heat, heat, cold, climates, whatnot. Um, so uh, with that being said, um, I'm trying these Kenda Cataclysms. Uh, we'll report back probably within the next uh, uh, couple weeks with the installation video and then uh, even a uh, performance evaluation. And we'll see how we do. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this series. Thanks guys.